I don't want to make a digital mood board. Like I want to make a physical mood board. I like that chair. Why? I have the urge to do something creative, but not something that's gonna wrap me up for like a week. I wanna do something I can just not think too hard about. Does that make sense? Like, I just wanna follow a creative flow uh, that's low stakes. And I thought a great way to do that would be to create a mood board. I don't wanna make a digital mood board. Like, I wanna make a physical mood board, but not just any mood board, a mood board that is for the fall reset of my booth, that I can hang on my office wall for me to reference back to really this is probably gonna be a two-day thing because I have a ton of magazines to use for this project a lot of these came from my Nana I have a huge magazine collection no it's not huge but I have a big magazine collection and a lot of these are repeats of magazines that I have there's a lot of great options here a lot of good options for the cutouts that I'm looking to get I have like country home better homes and gardens beds and borders we got Southern Living Porch Style, Country Home, Country French, Vintage Style. Like I, there's a lot of options here. So what we're gonna do today is just flip through these magazines, find images that we like or images that are inspirational to us or within that color palette that we're looking for. And then we're going to clip them. I've actually been very inspired by the items that I've been finding in my inventory doom pile. And so I'm really looking forward to this next reset because I feel like I've been chasing these two resets that I've done in the past for a long time like I loved this reset the point is is like fall I think is definitely more me as far as like the color palettes and what I can find and put together so maybe it's not more me it's just easier for me to do maybe that's a better way of saying it I like a lot of different styles and I think creating a physical mood board will help me hone in what I need to source how I need to put it together and kind of just keep me on track so I don't get distracted by all all the shiny things I've been done I want to look in this one so bad see right off the top right off the top that's such a cool image whoever the stylist was for this picture very cool very cool wet leaves just stuck on a pumpkin maybe I'm just gonna start cutting Ooh. all right I'm just gonna start cutting I wonder I don't know why fall just feels easier to style. Maybe it's just because we're m mostly dealing with antiques and rusty things, like farmhouse style items, which I mean, is farmhouse style going out of style? I still haven't sold that sign, y'all. I don't think it's going completely out of style. I think there's always gonna be a want for the rustic and the imperfect, right? But I can't help but notice that it's not a dominating, it's not dominating like it was. Even Joanna Gaines, even Joanna Gaines isn't necessarily decorating in that style right now. She's very mid-century. Have you guys watched the castle remodel yet? I haven't watched the castle remodel yet. I know Paige, is it Wessel, Weasel? What is her name? Hold on. Wassel? She recently did a video reviewing the show and she's usually very hard on Chip and Joe because she's just not really a big fan of that farmhouse style, but she really liked the castle remodel. I watched her video, I haven't watched the show yet, and it looks like it's worth a watch. It looks really interesting and it looks like she made a lot of European design or style choices. And I think that's kind of where my head is at right now. There's a pumpkin. I want moody, I wanna feel cozy, I want richness. And don't get me wrong, I like spring and I like all the color that comes with that as well. It could just be this very dreary day, but like I have this want to decorate in this very cozy, warm style. If you're watching this video at a different time than when I post it, you can tell that summer's starting to come to an end. We're still mid-August, but it, I can feel the, uh, the urge to get pumpkins. Let's see, what else we got here? Oh, that's so pretty. Kind of looking more of like the creams, a little bit of the gray and like black. Like I like that a lot. Love this planter. Here, I'm gonna clip this planter. Sales update. I haven't sold anything all week. It's Thursday at the moment and I don't think I've had a sale since Sunday. I've gone through spells of not selling things before but it's uncommon. That's not normal. It's August 10th. 
So we're early mid August right now. I'd be curious to know like how are sales going for you guys? Like I haven't, even, not even a small thing. It's not like I haven't sold any furniture. I haven't even sold a small thing. Maybe people are waiting for the weekend. I don't know. Oh, know what it probably is? A lot of local schools went back into session this week. School's back in session. All right, that makes a lot more sense. I was like, what am I missing? Something's wrong. <laughs> okay, it's good. All right, all right, I feel better. Thanks guys. Thanks for uh, helping me solve that that mystery. It'll be interesting to see how this weekend goes. Okay, let me, let me, hold on. I need to concentrate for a sec to clip, clip this thing out. This is why people do the Pinterest mood boards. This is why. <laughs> there you go. Y'all talk me out of painting my concrete patio. Let me tell you what I'm thinking. I'm gonna have to mood board this as well, but I am thinking about doing a video on giving my side patio over here on our house, which is actually the old cistern for the property that it doesn't use anymore, but it functions as our little side patio. Last year, I had this space all dolled up, but I used it as a patio garden. I was big into the gardening last year, or at least the patio gardening, and I was trying my hand at it because in the past I had always killed the things, the poor things. Last year it was beautiful and I absolutely loved it. I loved hanging out there. And then this year, a few plants out there, but it wasn't anything like it was last year. And I would like to make it really cute again. Um, obviously I think we're past patio, that was Zoe, if you heard that. That was a, a, you sound like a pig. I think we're past patio garden season. That's kind of cool. They're using vintage decanters as candlestick holders. I wonder if they have a close up pick. They do have a close up pick. That is such a cool, I never know what to do with the decanters. The cool like crystal ones. Doesn't that look awesome? That's such a good idea. What was I talking about? Right, so the side patio. It's not as cute as it was last year. I'd like to make it cute again, but I think we've missed patio garden season. I'm thinking about doing a fall patio makeover. The biggest part of that would be actually painting the patio and it's concrete. But I was thinking about doing like a stencil design. I've done this before. I did it in my past house. I did it on the kitchen flooring. It was just this vinyl kitchen flooring. I actually, I loved that kind of Moroccan star print that I had seen before, but I couldn't find a stencil. So I made my own stencil and I actually painted the floor white. And then I did with my own stencil that little star and it, it it was awful right it, did, it was the worst color to paint the floor if you had dogs after i did the floor it just changed the whole vibe of that kitchen so i think i can do it it's just do i want to do it and it's not even something that i know we're going to keep forever because eventually we want to do like a deck out there that kind of wraps around the front of the house but i i would like for it to look cute in the meantime and it's also something that like we could power wash away if we didn't like it at all I haven't seen a lantern in a while, actually. I also haven't necessarily been looking, but they always end up selling if they're priced right. I've seen some high price lanterns, but they do eventually sell. And so maybe I need to start looking for them again once the inventory doom pile is processed. Okay, vintage style. I wonder what year this is from. This is from display until September 25th, 2017. So pre-pandemic. Hmm. My foot's falling asleep. The reason I'm sitting on the ground is because this is where the best light is coming in at. That's a cute idea. That's a cute display idea if Tori ever comes across a ton of interesting purses. cut anything out of this yet. Okay, nothing in this one. Not for this reset at least. All right, let's move on to Don't Fail Me Now French style. No, what, what year was this? Also a 2017 from uh, February. Kind of like that. The flooring on this page is kind of what I was thinking for the side porch. It's like that gray and white checkered, but diamond. Can I just rip this page out? I 
could paint that. That wouldn't be too hard. I was also considering like a herringbone brick. Man, that would be a little more complicated than I would want to do. All right, I'm gonna cut this chair and some of these books. I like that chair. We're gonna finish the mood board project here soon, but first it is Friday, which means that we need to take 10 items from the Doom Pile inventory stash to the antique mall. We're sticking to it. We're sticking with this new routine. Also, it just gives us a chance to check out the booth and he just got a huge cricket. Sorry, Fisher's bug hunting. Dang, that was big. Okay, this also just gives us a chance to go check out the booth and make sure everything's good there. So what we're taking over today are these two rugs and I just went back to look up what I paid for them so that I could price them accordingly and they were actually some of the last auction pieces that I picked up before I, I went cold turkey on auctions. So I have these two green rugs that I really want to get into the booth before full on fall and then I pulled some things from like the fall inventory pile that kind of can transition nicely over from summer to fall. But I have some white glazed terracotta flower pots. Also have this really cool vintage Japanese double mirror uh, in red lacquer that I found. This is called a, a sugar shuttle. It's missing the scoop that it would normally come with. This was in one of those box lots that I just happened to pick up. And I actually think it's really cute. It'll be really great for holding like uh, matches or toothpicks if you wanted to. So I, I'm taking that over as well. This really nice size 45 leather belt. It actually has over here on the back, it says made in the USA, Brushy Creek, made by Brushy, I can't say that, why can't I say that? Brushy Creek, uh, cowhide, size 45, embossed leather. And I believe that would be a, a basket weave right there. This actually came with a bunch of pots and planters and I guess people just didn't realize what it was, but this really beautiful Roseville Jardinier. I think I'm saying that right. Yeah, Jardinier. It's a Donatello footed Jardinier. Online I saw 1915, 1916, and 1930. On the bottom, it has 23 x 6 But the prices for this piece online were on the higher end. So I kind of, I went halfway in the middle. I didn't pay a ton for this, but I put 75 on it. I was seeing like 145. This one's in really beautiful shape. It works really well with the green, the warmer tones that I have and the cream. So I'm taking that over today. I think it's a good transitional piece for the seasons. Lastly, I'm also taking over all of this silver plated silverware. There's knives, there's forks, spoons, dinner forks, salad forks, teaspoons, a bunch of pickle forks like or cocktail forks see 
Now, normally I would just price all of them separately, but with the cocktail forks, there were six of them and I just felt better pricing them together as a set. So all six for $10, I felt like that was a pretty good price for all those, but I'm taking all that silverware as well. Now, technically I could just take 10 pieces of silverware and call it a day because they're all priced separately for the most part, but I'm just, I'm counting that as one. And I'm gonna also take over this teapot holding box. It's covered in fabric with this really cool green works perfectly with the green that I'm taking over already it all works together it's so funny how that happens right you just find all this stuff in different places and then it all just works together so I'm taking this teapot holding box over as well I'm I'm pretty sure this was actually found as a tourist like gift shop piece and it had the teapot in it but it doesn't now so it's just a really pretty box so I'm gonna take that over as well I don't have that price super high eight dollars for a pretty box, it closes. I just have all the silverware in it right now. I'm going to vacuum these rugs, price them accordingly, and then take all this stuff over and check out the booth before we finish the mood board. I'm really worried about protecting this <laughs> Donatello piece. So I'm just gonna wrap it in some upholstery batting that I have sitting down here and that'll help protect it. Like a candle, I just burn away. All we really have is time. All we really have is time. Why? Why? Okay guys, we're back home. Uh, when I was leaving the antique mall, I'm gonna sneeze, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> they just hit me out of nowhere. Whew. Okay, so what was I trying to say? When I was leaving the antique mall, I saw uh, one of my baskets walking out the front. So I did at least have one sale, if not two, I saw something else was missing. There's been times when things are missing, but a sale doesn't come through and then they end it back up in my booth. So somebody made a decision somewhere along the way. And when I talked to the workers at the antique mall, they said it's been slow for everybody all week. So it's definitely just people going back to school. We're gonna finish this mood board and off camera, I painted the board or the just whatever paper that I'm using. You might recognize this color as the urbane bronze that we painted in my booth for last year's the reset right before vlogmas and i'm considering painting the back wall that color yes i spent way too long doing that mural i know you're yelling at me we all knew this was going to happen 
We knew it was coming. So I'm testing out the Urbane Bronze on the board and then all the cuttings that I did, I have them right here. There's some medium ones, there's some small ones. Some of this I might not, I might not use all of it, but I'll probably use most of it. A lot of creams in here, some rich wood tones, baskets, cut out of uh, old Turkish style rugs. What we're gonna do now is just glue this all on and we'll have a mood board. Some people like have some really beautiful mood boards and it's got like fabric samples on it and paint samples and I guess technically this is a paint sample but uh, probably not could it go out of my way to cut a bunch of fabric samples or anything like that. Sailors passing on the street, are you ready? Ships are filling up fast, are you ready? are filling up the sky are you willing to try Why? sing along as they holler and be fulfilled many more will come many more under the sun Keep it steady We will be the confetti If we fail we just reboot is green around the side are you ready for new mm -hmm. new beginnings new pride let your spirit shine through mm -hmm. many more will come on many more steady we will be the confetti and if we fail we just 
Just reboot. Here is the mood board for the fall 2023 booth reset. I did end up adding some fabric. I actually ended up putting the this clipping of an old rug. Uh, I have some drop cloth back here that looks a lot like linen and then the antique ticking fabric. This is all from my own fabric stash, but I really like how it came together. So we got a lot of orange, we got some green. Very elegant in a lot of areas, but also rustic. I'm thinking like, do I want to paint a few pieces of furniture for this? Because I have some dressers that aren't moving. And if they aren't moving at that price and how they currently look, they're oak, then maybe I need to test out painting them. I would do the Miss Mustard Seed paint, if anything. I haven't painted anything in a long time. If it wasn't already painted when I found it, I, I didn't want to paint it. But now I'm thinking like, maybe we try out painting a piece or something. So we have a lot of creams and whites, but we got a lot of richness too with browns, a lot of texture with baskets and rugs. This kind of is what I was thinking about with all the planners that I have, but instead of florals and flowers, I was thinking about doing it with those pumpkins. Kind of like how I have this pumpkin over here in this crock, a similar, something similar to that. I didn't use all the clippings that I had, but I used a lot of them. I wanted to fill up all the negative space, but my brain just won't let me. I really, I love negative space and just letting items breathe a little bit. And so that's why all that negative space is there. I have a bunch of linen grain and feed sacks that I have had for a long time and I haven't used them for anything. So I think I might need to start making some pillows again. And I haven't, I haven't made any pillows in a while either. So that might be something that I need to do. I also wanna get back into finding a bunch of books. So once we go through this doom pile and get all that clean, priced, and set up to go, when we start sourcing again, I think I'm gonna start looking for old books. They have gone up in price. I can't. used to be able to find old books for like nothing, 50 cents, a dollar. Uh, now $6, $5. It depends on the book, but most of the ones that I come across that I like are pretty expensive. Also, brass that's gonna be big this year for fall it it always is it's big year round uh this chandelier that's up here is actually the exact chandelier that i have in my booth right now they just included all the crystals on it i don't have all the crystals on that one i actually took them all off just because i love the the bare bones look of it i thought that was really interesting so i cut that out and i included it in there as well because it's it's still in my booth i was like well i obviously have to include that in the mood board because that's the exact chandelier I'm also gonna look for more dried flowers, gold frame mirrors, lots of gold accents, this texture and this design on this old fabric right here. Maybe that's something I can like replicate. I just wanted to get messy and creative. Low stakes messy and creative, I should say. I don't think I spent a dime on this. I did have to get glue sticks, I'm sorry. So $3.99, happy with the results. I'm gonna hang it in my office just so I can reference back to it whenever necessary. I know this video is a little different. I thought it'd be a nice break, at least for me. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. Make sure that you subscribe and like and check out the other videos on the channel. You might want to be interested in these past resets that I've done. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.